Hello, my name is Jim Armstrong. I am here to show you how to use Microsoft Ice. Microsoft Ice, in case you don't know, is a free utility, compliments of Microsoft. It allows you to take a series of pictures and stitch them together, seamlessly in most cases, to create beautiful panoramics. Well, I'll start off this introduction by showing you the panoramic on my desktop. Uh, this is a, a photograph, uh, a panoramic created from these three images, uh, which I'm clicking on. I stitched them together using Microsoft Ice. Uh, it's virtually automatic. Okay, we'll start at that point. So to begin, once you run Microsoft Ice, it comes up with uh, this screen that you're looking at here. Uh, the basic gray area in the middle is where you drop your images. Uh, there are some advanced options which I'm not going to go into because um, you, you don't even need to use these advanced options to create panoramics in most cases. Okay, <clears throat> I'll resize this window we're going to work with these three images on the left here. Uh, three photographs I took uh, in series uh, panning from left to right. So I would take a shot uh, looking to my far left, uh, move the camera slightly to the right. As you can see, uh, this building is, is a good reference point. It's on the corner of this photo in this photo it's in slightly you can see the trees and in the final photo the building is still in in view uh, and it's mostly trees so long as you keep a good uh, reference point or a good overlap in your images Microsoft Ice can easily stitch them together so how do you uh, how do you stitch you ask well it's very simple you take your source files you just uh, select them all at once by dragging them around them. Uh, left click, hold, and drag them straight into ICE. Let go. You'll see that uh, ICE evaluates the pictures, makes a few decisions, and then automatically stitches them together. Now, in this example, it's fairly straight. Uh, there's no issues with uh, it being skewed or uh, things not lining up properly. Uh, so basically we're done we've stitched the image uh, the only thing that we might do uh, to this image to enhance it some is to take out these people uh, that we don't want in our image uh, the way we do that is using this uh, these little grabbers here these allow you to crop your picture uh, and, and pick what part of the photograph you do not want to export. Now, once again, uh, Microsoft Ice being almost fully automatic, uh, it will self-crop for you. Down here to the, to the left side is an automatic crop button. You click automatic crop, uh, Ice automatically crops in and gives you the maximum size picture uh, without any angles or, or missing parts of the picture. So in most cases you can click automatic crop and it does the job. Uh, other options before you export are uh, type of image that you want to export JPEG, TIFF, Photoshop, deep zoom tile set, Windows bitmap, PNG image, and an HD photo image. Now some of these options here you may not have heard of like the HD photo image or the deep zoom tile set. Uh, I may do a tutorial at some point and explain what those are. Uh, those are a little more specialized and actually uh, you know useful if you have a website where you want to have a, an image that can be uh, zoomed into dramatically from, uh, from an overview perspective but we'll get into that at a later tutorial. Um, but for our case we're going to select JPEG uh, we're going to leave it at the standard 80 quality, which is uh, normal JPEG compression. Um, also, uh, the output size here. 
Uh, at 100%, this image is 6,682 by 2805. Uh, that is a very large image. If you was to take that to a, a professional printer, uh, that would be a, a very nice poster. The image itself is a total of 18.74 megapixels. Now, once you've got your panoramic created, again, uh, you can click automatic crop. It brings in these bars just inside the curved edges to give you a perfectly uh, rectangle photograph. Again, you can drag these to manually crop additional things from the picture, such as people who happen to be in your way. And at the end of the day, this is going to be your image. When you're ready to export, go ahead and click the Export to Disk button. You pick a destination. I'm going to go ahead and save it in the same location uh, where I originally uh, pulled the images from. Okay, I'm going to call this uh, Venice Panoramic. And I'm going to save it. It takes ice just a few moments and it exports the file uh, to disk. Uh, to see your handiwork, I'm going to go ahead and minimize the application. Uh, here I'm already in the, the Italy folder and there's my Venice Panoramic. Double click it and there it is my Venice panoramic. So I've taken three photographs and stitched them into one. Uh, again, one of the nice things about ICE is it's seamless stitching. Um, they've apparently developed uh, an excellent algorithm to detect edges uh, and it does a better job than most uh, pay applications that I've found. Okay, so that concludes the uh, condensed uh, overview of Microsoft ICE. Uh, there is a, uh, a slightly longer version, about 10 minutes longer, that includes two more examples of some basic uh, photo stitching. If you'd like to, uh, to, to look at the longer version, go ahead and click the link that's on the screen, and uh, it'll start up uh, with this one left off. Thanks for watching.